Good morning, friends. Welcome to Take Two for this Tuesday, the uh, 4th of June, 2019. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride. Well, I want to share a little bit today about something that happened to me some time ago and how it tied in with something this very week. And that is that some time ago I was going through a little bit of a rough patch. <clears throat> I really needed the support of others in this. I needed some good advice. I just needed a dose of encouragement. And so I reach, uh, say what you will about social media, but let me tell you, I reached out to a group of people uh, with whom I am part of this group, and I shared my woes, I shared my thoughts, and the outpouring of tremendous support and love and positive uh, input was so overwhelming, it really helped get me through this rough patch. Well, in recent days, just this very week actually, I noticed this same group that I belong to that someone else, now here it is months later, and that someone else had posted something not unlike what I had posted, saying they really needed some encouragement. And I just stepped back and watched, and I watched the tremendous outpouring that was given to this individual all kinds of love, constructive advice, nothing negative, nothing like get even, do this, be, you know, forget them, you know, and, and ah, you know, nothing like that. No, it was all love. It was all constructive. And it wasn't fluffy either, like, you know, like kind of the people that say, I'm praying for you, and then they walk away and don't even remember what your name is. No, this was real genuine stuff you could tell. It was real genuine and from the heart. And I thought, wow, the value of support is huge. And when you have good support over things, boy, you know, you realize sometimes you just can't do it alone. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times we're Lone Rangers. There are times we have to work things out on our own and we don't need to involve the whole world in our troubles. I'm not talking about those times. I'm talking about when we really need support. That's why support groups are so important, whether virtual or face-to-face. I really do believe in support groups. If you're overcoming addiction, if you have grief that you need to work through, if you have challenges, if you if you have problems with uh, keeping on track with weight loss or, or, or getting off of smoking or whatever it might be, I believe that there's tremendous value in support. And I started thinking about like a soldier. Now here's our little soldier, and he's all by himself. He's a Lone Ranger soldier. Now, say there was a big battle on the front he needed to get to. What do you think this one guy all by himself is going to do? Not a whole heck of a lot. But if he went, hey, guys, hey, fellas and gals, and all of a sudden this batch showed up, well, that would be another story altogether, wouldn't it? This one fella getting the support of an entire troop would really help a lot. What about if you went into a restaurant, a huge restaurant with multiple tables and a whole bunch of people sitting down and you discover there's one server? Well, how is that one server going to serve all those tables? Either people aren't going to get their meals or they're going to be really late or you're going to have a lot of angry people on your hand. That's why you have to have a whole crew of servers. How about if you were in a department store? And let me tell you, this is more true than not. How many times have you been in there and there's gobs and gobs of shoppers lining up and there's one register open? That happens a lot of times. It's always better when you have several registers open to check out your employees. How about a factory assembly line? What if there was a big assembly line like, say, in Detroit where cars are being assembled and there was only one person working on an assembly line? Well, how could you possibly assemble a car? It would be impossible now, wouldn't it? One time, Michael and I were driving through Pennsylvania. We were driving through the Lancaster area, where there's the Amish country. And just as we were going down the secondary road, we saw in the field, just adjacent to where we were driving, we saw a huge group of people in the field, and it was adults and children alike. And just as we were passing them, it was one of those magical timed out moments, just as we were passing by, we watched them raise uh, an entire 
wall to a barn. It was a barn raising, an old-fashioned barn raising. There was no sophisticated equipment. There was men, women, children, and ropes and, and, and bare hands just pushing. And there you go. It was, it was strength in numbers. Now, could one man have done that by himself or one woman by herself or one child by himself or herself? Absolutely not. You got to have a team to do something like that. And that's why my, my mother, who was famous for many sayings, <laughs> mean Mary and her sayings, one saying she used to say that really was true, and that was that, well, many of them were true, but this one was very true, and there's strength in numbers. In other words, get a team together, get a support team together. There's tremendous value in having that support. And let me tell you something, not the support of a bunch of people who are going to give you bad advice. I'm not talking about like joining a gang where you are all angry about something, unless of course it's uh, righteous anger, like you want to do something about, you know, injustices in the world. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you're going through grief, when you're going through a, a, a weight loss journey, when you're going through a health problem, when you're going through rehabilitation from, from a cancer, whatever it might be, get that support team together, boys and girls. You know, I know a lot of people who have lost children. Now, it's always, always sad when a parent loses a child. That is always a very, very sad thing. But there are groups of people that I know, there's a particular group I know, that meet together solely for the purpose of supporting one another, giving each other constructive advice on how to get through the grief process of when a parent has lost a child. And, and it really is helpful. And I have spoken with this one man who kind of heads up the group, and he said, if I didn't have my little family, now not to become codependent on them either, there's always that extreme, but this is just to be together, to understand, to be like-minded so that you could do something constructively instead of just dwelling in destructive and, and bad behavior and bad thought patterns. No, no. This is something where you can constructively help one another. So I was so blessed to see that post by that person and then the subsequent post that went underneath it just to say, wow, this group is still doing their job. They're still still advising and giving blessing to one another. And, and then I was able personally to add another very constructive thing, I hope, on to tag it onto this person's post to say, hey, been there, done that, sister, and I'm here to offer some constructive and helpful support. So all that being said, Go be a blessing to somebody today, boys and girls. You might end up being the only one who is. And if you see somebody who just needs some support, direct them to whatever group you think they could be helpful or just be there for them and give them the love, show them the love. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button. And you will be, and hit the notification button and the little bell, and you'll be able to watch all of my take twos and even make comments if you like. And then also don't forget great music, great programming, great everything. WRMZ.org. Click the listen button. That's WRMZ.org. And tune in, okay? All right. Love you all very much. Uh, don't try to go it alone when you know you've got a whole troop behind you because, boys and girls, we're here for you. And if you need some support and you don't know where to turn, private message me, won't you? And I will point you in the right direction. Love you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow for a hoop day. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you.